What's up guys, this is the Brethren and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So, to round off happened last time, we successfully managed to destroy the British Empire. Uh, no United States was formed, the 13 colonies still, in com in still intends to exist. Um, and based on the fact that they've actually lost their required territories near the 13 colonies, I don't know how easily um, the United States will be formed. But we are going to send our Icelandic forces over here, and I've, I've decided I want to go after um, Nassau and Jamaica to add sugar and coffee this time in the Bahamas to our trade pool. Because right now we produce a reasonable amount of pelts, and if we took Rupert's land it would be more pelts. Whereas these guys would give us an opportunity to recruit more interesting stuff. But it does put us at the... <laughs> Race built galleons. It does put us at the. Oh, that's the Queen Anne's Revenge. It does put us at a potential vulnerability with the pirates, so we do need. Well, maybe soon. I might have to steal the Baltic fleet for now if I want to move over quicker. Oh, actually, I'll bring. I'll bring old. I'll bring old, old Bjorkman to the New World as well. I want to send these guys over there to protect my trade lanes and also to help wipe out the pirates. And after all our research we decided last term was pretty good. We need to build a classical university. I'm building one in Cambridge. I also need to build one in... I am building one in Stockholm. And I am building one in Denmark. So it's only two turns. See, Stockholm is an absolute money spinner. And even with the university, they're very happy. Iceland's okay. Now I can start taxing England with the United Kingdom. No, England specifically. London is only me four and a half grand a turn. That's lovely. Scotland's being taxed. Dublin is being taxed. Everyone's being taxed. And we're on almost 20 grand a turn. Lovely stuff. So let's hit end turn. Oh, that Spanish army from North Africa is coming back. Oh, they lost. Did they lose a territory? Did they lose Algeria? I'm sure. I'm sure they had it. Oh, they're also upgrading that building that's near the map. But right now, things are pretty stable. <gasps> Poland's are, Polish are raiding the drive westward. Because Poland is specifically our duper duper kick ass on the continent. I want them to be our guy. I might. You know, trouble is, if I give Poland military techs they might give them to the Russians. I don't know if I want that. I might actually spend a bit of cash upgrading the garrison on the fort in the fort near St. Petersburg. And we have a rake. Just put the rake in the port preemptively. So let's get the naval board for more techs and let's get the military academy. So we're already building that, so we can't get them. We were already getting the military tech. Let's upgrade the craft workshop here. See so you guys. So I'll give you a general, Bartold. It'll take them a while, but this is meant to be sort of trickling troops in. So they can start. I mean, they'll have to walk, but they'll go. They'll they'll make their way there. There's no major rush. Do I upgrade this in Sweden? Not Sweden, Finland. Government chambers, probably in lieu of anything else specifically. Let's build a sloop here. I might base my Baltic fleet out of Ormea, or maybe even Visby, as it's right in the muck. Actually, I'm basing, basing it out of Visby, then my sloop can go into Artus and I can stop recruiting that one. Let's check what's been built. Ports. Lots of good stuff. And happiness buildings. So let's actually upgrade these so I can actually move my army out. I mean, they're only minus two. But we're not going anywhere in a rush, so let's hop back. 
Let's also recruit another unit of 12 pounders and let's disband our demi cannons. Good. You are still replenishing. We get your cavalry and conscripts. Conscripts might be okay based on what they're doing because they're attacking pirates. So let's move these very. Let's move these veteran conscripts out of this army. Chaps getting an artillery, getting artillery piece. You can actually treat yourself to some more line infantry. Well, when we have the funds. So I'll transfer these conscripts up to this force. Let's move this brig down while I'm embarking ships to the sloop. Sloop up to the fishery. Put the brig into Liverpool. Good stuff. Because if we're just fighting pirates, then conscripts aren't. Conscripts are pretty reasonable at that. The reloading skill is still pretty bad, even for experience four. Um, but they're still useful. Like I said, pirates have got. Pirates are pretty shocking. Cool. It's been a good little trade, I think. Let's hit and turn. Here comes some cavalry back. Yeah, it's quite a good navy Austria's built up. But luckily, it's facing the Ottomans. It's not. It's not our problem yet. Eventually, it will be. Someone will take offence at how brilliant we are. The Polish are going after us at Prague. It is Prague. They're even raiding Berlin. It's a shame they're not attacking. It holds this. It holds the bottleneck between what I suppose you call it the, bot the bottleneck, quote unquote, the gap. Oh God, Mughal Empire with a stack. Are you coming after us? Who after? So, diplomacy. The Mughals are indifferent. They, 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 they're, they're, they see the only enemy with the pirates. So, based on the fact that the AI loves randomly attacking the human player, I'm going to assume they're going for me. So let's send out this sloop to find them. So let's do a bit of a zigzag pattern. No, they've definitely made it further up than that. I mean, I shouldn't lose any ships, but I want to clear out this fog. Aha! To me, I think that is a very I can I can only imagine they're gonna go after me. If they were going after anyone in Europe, they'd probably go through the channel. Question is, do I preemptively attack them? Well let's get you back into Back into London. Let's get two more units of line. And then this army will be the army to repel them. Because I could sink them right now. And let's send this art navy get to get back back to home. Because if they do declare on us, then I'd be tempted to almost jump around here and take penny packet territories with my weak force. And actually focus in India because I will do it, I'll land and <laughs> I'll make them pay. I might even land and take Nerun. Because then we'll have a friendly 
friendly guy here, then we've got actually a couple of nice river spots to engage any stacks. They immediately come after us. So. Where will they attack? Let's put my navy off the coast of Scotland. So they can't drop their troops off right next door. Let's put... Union of Hussars and Liverpool. So all our ports are full. They may go for Iceland, but Iceland is now fully replenished. And I mean, it's not going to be super duper brilliant, but it'll probably be enough to repel them. So let's not upgrade Scotland yet. Our garrison is very weak in Scotland. So they don't want to preemptively attack them. They, like I said, they could just sail straight through and land here. Build a fort. Got another rake in England. Upgrade you to an artillery fort. And the May. Ooh, mountain troops. Skirmishers. This is one of the unique units that Denmark has. So they are skirmishers. So I may have to build fortifications around Norway. Because that might be where they're trying to get as well. Let's hit end turn and see what happens. There's the gar that's the garrison for the fort near St. Petersburg on the march. So. Let's see what the Mughals do. So they, they might go for Iceland. They can't go for London because we're garrisoned with our main army. They can't go to... Well, they can't capture Glasgow there's nowhere safe to drop off their troops. <sighs> the Australians have repelled them. They're only at war with the pirates at the minute. So that's Coke Blast Furnace is done. Um, this navy isn't needed to escort them now. I'm starting to build up a. I've still got some. I've got a couple of ships here. These war galleons would be enough. I guess the fifth and a Jebek. Well, maybe not if I'm piloting them, but. Keep you slowly churning out fourths. Same with you. If you go after Denmark, they're going to be pretty surprised. And if they go after Sweden, they'll be surprised as well. Anyway, so the only one to replenish here in England is you. Let's get this guy to recruit another sloop. Let's bring my hussars back. So let's bring. To be honest, we could probably do with another greater two. Well, no, let's take Odd, Odd Bjorkman and the fleet he has for now. Sail him up there. He'll be safe till he gets into port. Then I'll sail, deliver this army over to the east. And I'm a bit con I'm concerned about where they're going to go. They might go for Finland. If they go for Finland, I'll have to raise a small army in Sweden and go after them. Um, but I'm not about to spend a huge amount of money defending Finland. It's right nice and different. We're positive two. Let's just remind you to check my ministers. And they're all brilliant, especially my treasurer. Good stuff. 
Okay, we'll still got two grand to spend, but nowhere to spend it on, which is good. Surplus is the good. We're causing a bit of a frustration when we got this, this, um, this fort. Let's just check. They are still just at war with the pirates. I can't see how they're going for anyone else but me, but I'm intrigued to let it happen. Oh, and I haven't brought that shit back. Yeah, Polish has been utterly routed by the Austrians. Nothing they can do about it. So if Prussia upgrades some of it, po if Poland upgrades some of its ports, I'll more than happily trade with it. And it wants to do some. Oh, we've got Ottoman priest. Ottoman. There we go, as as expected. So let's call in our allies. They've all refused to join me. Okay. So they're going to do a lot of raiding, then they're going to attack me. Annoying, but I am going to ship my London army over there to go kill them. And then my main army is going to land in England. We're going to bring war to the Mughal shores. Did we lose all of our alliances? Yep, we lost all of our allies, so we're no longer allied with Russia. So Russia's become a target. Poland is no longer an ally. We are now on our own officially. So let's knock out. Well, let's just auto resolve the ships. So that sank their force here. Unfortunately, we're not at war with Poland, Prussia yet. Okay. So let's get this militia unit out of the way. Um, Get this army embarked in the dock, in the ship, in onto ships. Actually, hold on. Let's move. Before we attack them, let's move the fourth raids back to Portsmouth. Brig back into Malmo. Let's bring some cavalry and some pikes. Frederick Carlson is going to attack Shiasta Rathor. Well, next turn. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we had enough movement points. Either way, they can't run anywhere. I don't want to weaken this flank yet, unnecessarily. So let's get some engineers in to the, into this fort. I'm probably going to want to Some grenadiers and some good old line infantry. It would be easier to ship them over, but I'm fine with them walking. I could take a few turns to get over there, but we're not going to probably we're not going to be immediately declared on by Russia. I would hope. So we have a new target since the Marath has declared on us. This army is going to embark. And they're going to go and sail and take the Mughal territory in the Americas. Wait, hold on. Yeah, good. Go to the Americas. Bring this ship in. Even in Denmark, let's start building some troops. Just in case, because we can. Any recruitment needs to be done? No, but we've got our universities upgraded, so 
Let's get up. They're all on pretty good stuff at the minute. I'll probably get up Salah onto the explosive shells to get how it says. Especially if we're going to go attack India now, rushing the quicklime shells would be quite useful. Let's keep on with the upgrading. Let's get you back into Portsmouth. Cannot any longer recruit. We haven't got the funds to recruit any more ships. So let's head out and turn. As our garrison forces continue to advance, to move over. So attack by Russia is now a real possibility. But probably not immediately. And if that garrison decides, if they decide to attack that garrison, then I will just deploy more troops to Poland. Oh, black screen for some reason. Good, it's back. Screw you, Poland. You betrayed me when you were my ally. I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to make you an ally and give you tech for only 2,700. No. Screw you, Poland. We were friends. No longer. You, good sir, have spoiled it. Ooh. That's pretty handy. That they're going to give us... They're they going to pay us to get their alliance back. Because that makes me feel a lot more secure about my eastern flank. Yep, the Mughal Empire. They're probably going to go sail and take another army. Damn, because these guys have no movement points, they can't intercept. Um, but I think I have to intercept and bring these guys and march these guys to wherever these guys enter the map. So rather than cavalry first, let's get a bucket load of our infantry on first and form a decent battle line. We will intercept. If we have no reinforcements, I will immediately retreat on Churchill. Well, you were too busy floating around on your boats, being a little scamp to do any good, to worry about risking any. And then you got deleted. You had no country. It'd be, co it'd be interesting if you attacked a fleet and they're like they became sort of like a pirate unit. Of turns to go take somewhere. Okay, let's just deploy. Bring them back, because this is where our reinforcements are. And let's run, because you will probably be chased by everything. Yep. Don't worry about don't worry about being clever. Just leg it. Oh, they're taking some pot shots with their guns at us. I mean, if you want to send your camel nomads up ahead of your troops too far, then I'll be more than happy to engage them with my... Probably better if these guys are more up here. I'm gonna spin my pikes around and attack the camel nomads. Because we will destroy them. I 
I mean, it's a simple job. Uh, well, I've already killed half the camels. First gun. I mean, are you guys going to charge in? You want to fire at us? General's bodyguard are elephants, so I don't really want to get too involved with them either. But we are starting to get the semblance of an army. Gun my provincial cavalry up and around to try to snipe their artillery. So they've not got much of it, but it's still. It would still be nice. the camel gunners. I don't want to send my cavalry in. Not against camels. My pikes will go in and saw them out. Yep, they're immediately trying. They're immediately scrambling about trying to do something about my camp, about my cavalry. not going to get my guns here in time. There we go. Oh, they're starting to do a bayonet. They want to do a bayonet charge. Charge into the Burkima Levy. We're starting to engage the, the camel, camel gun as we are. So chase down the levee. Just to try to get them to be shattered. If not, then just run straight into the Kizbalishi musketeers. Silly billies want to charge into us, but they're soaking up all the fire. Here comes the general as well. I 
these are quite veteran musketeers as well. These are my swords when I get shot to pieces. Charge in camel gunners. Send my cavalry back into the Bakima levee because they've decided they want some more. Let's get them out. Death of the Camels. Let's get these cavalry away. Because they can hit in the back of these musketeers and cause them to rout. Oh dear, this poor levy unit thinks it's going to do well against my line infantry. You can go into combat against my line, against the bowmen, just in case. All the cannons can just go here. Let's deploy my cavalry into the mix. To be honest, these guys might actually hold fire because I might just want to cavalry smash. Cavalry smash! No. Oh, good. You mean this guy, my captain? Thought it meant. Thought you meant. Carlson? No, you can't kill Carlson. Good stuff. I mean, I know it's not usually worth, like, chasing down Levy, but... Okay, let's pull this infantry unit back, let's unlimber this artillery and get them to start firing cannonballs at their general. Good lads. That's what happens when you send your boys to attack a foreign power. They fight back. Oh god. The Ellies are coming after me. Of 
come on, you guys. We're gonna kill four guys. Two. They're both right there. Let's advance up one wing to help deal with these elephants. Okay, let's form my cavalry back. Nope, that's the end of the that's the end of the general as well. I think that's probably then that's the end of the Oh go on, let's continue it for a little bit longer. Cause that's the general's bodyguard destroyed. Uh this levy's gonna rout. No drama. Yeah, Levy routed, so it's just this unit of musketeers. And with so many cavalry after them, you'd like to think they haven't really got a snowball's chance in hell. Yep, like a school of piranha. What's this now? 100, 200, 250 cavalry. It's like, who wants to kill him? Who wants to get a kill? I want to kill him. Damn right, it was a decisive victory. That's what you get when you attack us. This is what's going to happen, though. We're going to invade. Yep, they've only got 500 men remaining. And they're dead. That is the perfect outcome. No. No chasing, no wandering, no, no running down rampaging stacks. Perfect. Good job. I actually forgot to track how well the 1st Kalwar Infantry Division did. They're the ones that got actually got charged in the line and supported by pikes. That's who they were. And you guys replenish and get, get back to Copenhagen. Good. We've got our artillery fort built. And we're going to get some just pad it out a little bit more with a few more troops and when I eventually can recruit some howitzers so Odd Bjorkman has arrived in the Americas and he cannot reach any of our targets yet so he is going to go go to Nassau first And secure Nassau. Then he will hop down to Jamaica. Then he will hop down to Curacao. That's what you get. And it also means we'll open up, we'll open up Ceylon. And then, what's Mysore's diplomatic situation? Well, we'll kill them. We will conquer these upstart Indian rebels. Not rebels, but you know. Awesome stuff. Okay, let's get these war galleons to... I guess it was Lulia that was going to hold my fleet. Good stuff. And let's pick Dr. Caroline, Caroline Matilda. Actually, that... Oscar Hedner, that Dr. Caroline Matilda, have I got, haven't I got a brig of that name? Oh, Dr. Julianne, Julianne Marie, slightly different. Um, let's upgrade more happiness buildings because we are going to upgrade our school here, and happiness still it still provides. For its research to research for enlightenment text, so London's gonna be pr particularly good at researching these. Well, when it gets gentlemen, it will be. But once it, I'm, yeah, I'll put on to enlightenment text once it's finished crop rotation. So who is it that owns down here? It is Greece. Yeah, <laughs> Greece owns just Patras. Poor old Greece. Although they were. 
Oh, yeah, it's because it was the Iroquois, but the Iroquois are dead. And the Cherokee are dead. There are no Native American... Well, there are some. There's the Pueblo Nations and the um, Plains Nations and the Huron. But the two classic nations are dead. Interesting. But you're going to replenish, we're going to build up, or keep building up our navies, because I do want a stronger navy than I actually have. So that's why this is particularly good, because it allows me to build a naval board, get new cool looking marines, and also unlocks newer ports. First garrisons are getting to the to the fort, but it's already less of a priority because we're allies again, which is nice. It's only a matter of time, though, before more people turn against us. That's why right now navy is is a quite a big strategic priority. our empire is fairly strung out and it's very dependent on keeping waterways free supremacy to another power because otherwise we will be on uh, demand Sweden for all those territories There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here. Oh yes, because we've got because we got crop rotation. Just do a flat rate of upgrading farms. Farms are a very good baseline thing. I mean, help your towns grow, then you bit of wealth. Stop famines from interfering with the growth of villages. The growth of towns. They're just pretty good. They're pretty fundamental. Um, everything else is... It's all the farms done. Copenhagen's got the Great Parliament. And that's our top building. Can't currently build anything else. Reinforcements are getting to the right locations. Oh, there's another farm. Lots of recruitment in Denmark and Sweden. You are still getting ready. Grev Morna, you will be also another admiral. You'll be the Admiral Samuel Patterson. Patterson. That will be the army that heads towards the Indian territories. So let's take Odd Bjorkman. I mean, it looks like it's going to be an auto resolve because it's just. Wait a minute. Oh, that's Bonnie. I thought it was Bonnet. But I think it's Steed Bonnet, if Pirates of the Caribbean is correct. And a bit soon, the Bahamas will be ours, and that will open up. Ooh, that will open up um, coffee. Then we'll get some sugar from Jamaica. Then we'll also take out the Mughal Empire's holdings here. But we need to stay aware that there may be more stacks heading our way. So that's probably why I need a few navies. Like, I probably want to have one based on here in England to head off Mughal stacks coming in. Uh, let's get this brig. To be honest, I don't think there's, got, there's much call for this brig. Let's keep them here, just in case they need to, I need to use them to ferry ships around. Ferry troops around, sorry. You're going to work on new model bayonet drill. That gives us access to line infantry guards, some other cool stuff. Good. Everything's going okay. Cool. I think once those garrison troops get in there, then the, that fort will be more than secure. As I said, it would be faster to ship them over, but there's no rush 
it'd be more, it'd be faster and more efficient. But sometimes you don't. I'm not bothered about making things faster and more efficient. I just want them to to happen. So the Spanish are being cheeky boys. Ooh, the French capture. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm still not going to give you alliance an alliance for that. You betrayed us, Poland. Ah, oh, and Prussia's just stormed back. As Austria has actually taken Dresden, this is so foreign to me that <laughs> Prussia is expanding away from their capital, and as someone marches on it, so I suppose the idea is, oh, you can, they're going to do it again. Oh, damn it! They actually made it there in one hop. But we're just going to do what we did again. So we've got explosive shells. So immediately change from... We well don't change, but stop doing wedge and go on to... Coke Blast Furnace. Because your gentlemen are good for an industrial, industrial... Enlightenment, enlightenment, industrial... Enlightenment, so... I don't. I want to try not do military with Uppsala if I can, and just do industrial, preferably industrial and enlightenment um, if I need to. So the Mughals have landed another stack. I don't even know what kind of ship that is, but it's going to be smaller than these. <laughs> it's just a brig. Let's get them back into port. Replenish. Like as London, we get no garrison because we've not we've been there for so little amount of time. But let's take this guy. Get him to Malmo. Get him to embark. Then let's get this brig over to Portsmouth. Let's get the militia out. Let's get the brig to disembark. The army. So he has to go here? Because I haven't got the range to attack him. Well, that's an interesting thing to do though. Could I move you up to into range? So if I move you here. So as before, we can do the whole the early unit triggers the can trigger the attack, and then my reinforcements will come in. So let's move one of these sloops back to Malmo. Good. Let's upgrade. Across the board, great arsenal upgrades. Ooh, rebels. Oh, it's because these were Iroquois as well. Yeah. yeah. Poland's losing grasp against the Prussians. Could get involved, but why? Tenured professorship. What does that even mean? No, oh, plus two to research across the board. He's an industrial genius. Yeah, that's why this... Uppsala for industry, preferably. London for enlightenment, because these schools help quite a lot. Actually, Pleasure Gardens is using plus three. Plus three for industrial. Maybe it's just across the board. I don't know. Maybe it just makes them better at everything. Let's hop over to the Bahamas. That's just a stomp battle, that is. The Bahamas is ours. First colonial positions of the Danish Empire. They also probably need to build roads. Better roads, get our product to port. So our next battle is probably going to be against the Mughal stack if they advance on us.
Like if we had metal roads, then that reinforcement would be much faster, but we don't, so it isn't. Prussians are on the oh god yeah I mean it's it seems so bonkers they're funneling troops eastwards when there's a hostile power just to the south of them that owns a major city so you gotta dig them out like even Ottoman the Ottomans look close well I suppose it depends what troops are in Hungary because right now they might have lots of chaff and not much artillery maybe an escalade an escalade Escalade, escalade. There is a port in this region that has not yet okay. been developed. So they've decided to fortify. <laughs> okay, let's build a dry dock up here and in Ormia in four turns. God, that was ex those docks are expensive. And there's all our farms coming through. Good stuff. So it's 11,000, so it's got because the Ottoman Empire trade is being blockaded. And our coffee, only 15 sacks, is making it onto the trade market. So let's hop over to the Bahamas. Because you'll want cobbled roads. You're being replenished. Could upgrade the port, but there's not as much of a need. Let's recruit a sloop. Ready. To leave behind. And Nassau's actually growing by 5%. So lots of Danes are moving out to the Bahamas. <laughs> Each other's being taxed. Newcastle's about to grow. And I might turn that into a. I mean, do I turn it into another trade port? I mean, you're already growing like hell. Not so bothered about that. Radio. Yeah. Let's take Frederick Carlson. Hit Yaswant Daraz. Um. Yeah, let's fight it. I was wondering whether or not to kick it out to next turn, but you know what? Let's do it. So this is the reason why we want to have a army in the area to defend, because the Marathas are just going to keep. They're going to keep firing stacks at us like this. Unless you give them a target in country, they can actually they can actually focus on. They'll just keep firing firing units at us. And the Indian Indian factions have lots of troops to waste, so they don't doesn't necessarily matter if they all die. And as you saw, they were already sending very few uh, ships to actually bring them over here. So I probably want to storm up. So let's deploy this artillery up on the hill. So we must want to deploy it all up here. Good. So let's bring... Let's almost deploy all of my infantry in a giant line, and then we'll push them up through the houses. Then let's put some Hussars and Light Cav on one flank. Heavy Cavalry and some more Hussars on this flank. Where's my name, do you know? The first Kalmar is on the right. General in the centre. Okay, they need to make turret makeup. Space. Do not like the look of these camel nomads. Just tag them. Of 
got to send my cavalry in. Because they're not going to leave him alone. And let's immediately focus my artillery on something else. This is why I want my infantry in there, because they get a bonus against cavalry. But with everything in there, we might actually be able to quite simply route the lot of them. Okay, so let's advance up. My cavalry can push as well. So we've repelled a cavalry assault on the far left flank. Line of, this line of tuna is going to be absolutely shattered. There's the first Kalmar Infantry Division. They're going to engage 16th Kizablishi Musketeers, I think, with artillery support. That's, a level, that's quite a little scenic shot, actually. Present. Fire! Doing stellar work. Let's charge our cavalry into the dervishes. Cavalry against the dervishes on this flank. Because they have repeatedly crashed into our lines and they're making a push in the centre. But they've hit my marines. Okay, let's push. Let's push the flank. Yep, dervishes have had a torrid time. Let's get all my artillery to start hitting their general's bodyguard. Total route. Whoa, the shooting of Marines has broken formation. So they're still in the woods. They're making, don't put it, they're making an orderly retreat. Bouncing in. Oh, go on, if you can make them rout, that would be so many of them would immediately die. Okay, let's bring my heavy cavalry back into the levee, or make them actually go after one of these retreating units. So the Kalmars are engaging. Ooh, come on, nomads. Okay, don't run my cavalry up too far, as tempting as that'd be. Let's advance this flank up. Hit those camel nomads. Okay, let's commit my some infantry to go after Let's commit some infantry to go after the camels, as much as I don't want to. Okay, don't worry about it, because the camels are dead. All my guns to go after the musketeers. 
Oh, my infantry is engaging. This unit of just guns is hitting. Hey, it's hitting their own breastworks. Good, it's a total route. They're still fighting in the centre. They're still holding out in the trees. This musket shots whip through the air. This farmhouse taking a brunt of damage, taking a lot of damage. Takili. To fire in all directions. Make sure to keep the cavalry busy. Go hit the 24th Takili. Indian mercenaries remain in the centre. Looks like they are actually doing infantry firing drills. Good intelligence that we now know we now know they have that capability let's push this flank into the trees good stuff well I mean f kill these guys first this is the problem is when they split up When they're split up, the programming gets a bit squiffy. Let's just bring this cavalry back to the centre. The mercenaries are broken. Let's deploy the general. As long as the elephants don't come back. Lots of shots off at the retreating troops. Let's turn off my artillery. Absolutely continue. Because the more of them we kill, the fewer of them will remain to antagonise us. Oh, so they're going to kill this last remaining troop. Good, let's get into the centre. Ooh, stakes, I see you. Look at that. Hidden away in the trees. So everyone focus on them, you focus on them. Is there a unit still? Kind of the map. It's not them. Well, I sure hope that's not going to cock everything up. Oh, good, it hasn't. Because they've all it's disappeared off the map. Good. I was hoping that, I was wondering if something would be bugged. Decisive victory. So, fingers crossed, this the stack disappears completely. But let's check the... Oh, it should do. They've lost so many men. Check the battle statistics. So who got the most experience? The Marines went up a rank. Lots of the regiment of horse went up a rank. Lots of my infantry did. But some of my artillery and... Well, the militia didn't get involved. The artillery got a handful of kills, not that many. Who got the most kills? 
obviously my cavalry are right up there. Mar the marines are in there because they got charged. Oh, so it's not going to show me... It's not going to show me which... Oh, I want to find my... <laughs> I want to find that the named infantry unit but it's just unit line infantry i should have looked how many are remaining but i can't even see that on this screen yep, so they've retreated so this will be a simple mopping up exercise so to ensure i have the most amount of experienced troops as i possibly can i want to do something like this I mean, unfortunately, I'm going to lose lots of experienced marines as they, like these guys, what are they? He's experienced six? Five. Like lots of troops. When you recruit new units, you start to water down the experience level. So that's why lots of, like these guys will probably go down in experience. My line infantry, probably, they're probably going to stay quite high because they've only lost nine guys even then it probably be best if i can do that you know, like i top them up with level four so if i top the level fours up with level threes they remain pretty good yeah well, i've lost a line of unit trying to replenish them all but that's when you recruit a fresh one and this is how you end up recruiting or keeping more elite units alive later in the game so the 11th regiment of foot they're getting pretty darn good. Um, but, let's actually let's finish this turn off a little bit. Oh, all the farming's been done. Oh, everything's been done. So, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Denmark. <laughs> Cheers, guys.